Now, speaking of weirdest wrestlers, let's talk about the weirdest DLCs we got in WWE video games. From now all the way up till 2K16, in my opinion. So, WWE 13 came out, like, what, 11 years ago? We had, uh, like, the likes of Drew McIntyre, which, for some weird reason, he was in, in the main game. But his theme song will be heard in the, the menu of the game. So, the weirdest DLC character who we got in uh, the game for pre-order was Mike Tyson. Who also showed up in AEW besides him. And uh WWF SmackDown Just Bring It. Weirdest wrestler in that game? Well, okay, technically there was like no, nobody didn't know what the word DLC was, like, the letters, DLC, and this is, like, before DLC, E wasn't even a thing, uh, but I'm going to have this in here just for a little fun of it, and that is Fred Durst, the rapper, singer, rock star, the guy who sang, uh, the theme song for Undertaker back then, and now, just in my opinion, this one's going to be weird. The last character uh, from WWE 2K16 is the Terminator. Now, yes, the Terminator, like his, his actor, did is actually in the Hall of Fame of the year that the movie Terminator Genesis came out in 2015. And three months after the movie came out, he was a pre-order DLC bonus for that year's game. I'm sorry if I'm not making a lot of sense. I know that's like the only two weirdest, weirdest DLC characters. And some WWE games, including the one playable character in SmackDown, just bring it. But... Anyway, guys, stay tuned for an unboxing video, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.